on today's episode on Warp Drive M, we are going to fix the one series, we are going to replace the clutch assembly, everything, flywheel, clutch, pressure plate, everything that uh, has to be replaced in order to um, drive the car normal. We have in here the new parts, the flywheel, dual mass flywheel, uh, clutch assembly, this is the pressure plate, in there we have the clutch, we have the bearing for the gearbox and this plate in order uh, where the, um, the slave cylinder pressed on the clutch. We have new bolts for the flywheel and in here we have the old stuff, the bearing on the old flywheel. Um, it's shot as you can see maybe you can see in there all the small metal parts are flying out and in here is touching the side and here we have too much play and because of that uh, the car was shaking completely if you missed the last episode where i uh, took everything out and i've diagnosed the problem i'm gonna put a pop-up banner in here you can check that video out and uh, with all, all of that info we are going to start uh, putting everything uh, on the car and fixing this uh, one series we are going to start with the gearbox side we are going to replace this plate and this bearing this is quite easy you have to press this bearing in here first that's about it okay now we take this old plate out put the new one that's about it i'm going to use some grease in here and after that we are going to work on the car now now we can install the flywheel you will see in here a guide we have to put the flywheel on this guide and it's going to align with all the holes don't forget to put this plate back this is the plate for the crank uh, shaft sensor and in here on the new flywheel you will have this Guide in, the guide should um, fit in here, not in here. You will figure this out for sure, but you have to use this hole in order to push this that guide through. So let's do that now. Now install the new bolts with a T60, I hope you can see that on camera, T60, uh, from new they came with uh, uh, Loctite, you have to use blue or um, yellow, not red, and everything tight with hand, so hand tight, you have to be sure that the threads are going perfect. Set your torque range to 120 newton meters and uh, start tightening the bolts.
now the clutch assembly we have the pressure plate in here and the clutch itself we have the um, hex bit 6 um, screws for the pressure plate that the bolt is, uh, is going to bolt to the flywheel and you will have like H6 hex bit 6 okay and this goes only one way you can see on the clutch the said in here gearbox side so you have to put this side to the gearbox and this means something like this on the pressure plate and this goes on the flywheel this side where my fingers are flywheel and this side goes to the gearbox and at the end we have to remove this plate because this holds the clutch pressed maybe you can see here the spring how it's pressed we are going to remove this at the end and in order to install this we will need a tool for the gearbox uh, for the clutch alignment because you will have real problems if you don't align uh, this from now so if you have exactly the same uh, set that i have you have to use the number eight for the clutch and number four i think yep for the flywheel something like this flywheel number four see that Perfect, so let's assemble everything and put the clutch now. Oops. Let's install the clutch now. First, we have to put this tool for, on the flywheel. Okay. <clears throat> clutch now with the gearbox side to the key gearbox. Okay, we have to put the tool for the clutch and we have to thread this tool into the adapter for the flywheel. But first we have to put the pressure plate and through everything we will find the middle and everything will be aligned. Pressure plate now, it should be going like this, oops, like this, now we have to align everything, you will feel when it's threaded, Okay, seems to be a line. Hex bit six screws tight with twenty five Newton meters. Set your torque range to 25. Oops. Okay. Where's our light? Here. Now and screw the tool take it out now with a hex hex tool 14 <laughs> i wanted to say in german 14 put it in here use the use a wrench and release the pressure plate
Oops, I need a screwdriver. That's it. And now we can screw back everything and take the tool out. See that? Job done! And before we install the gearbox we have to check uh, once again if this is aligned because otherwise we will have problems installing the gearbox. Put the tool back together. Basically you can see the center is aligned but this small uh, piece it should go on the flywheel and the bigger one on the clutch and because of this uh, metal um, line it should be all one line so let's see on the flywheel on the clutch a line perfect now let's install the gearbox and uh, i'm not sure if i can film how i'm going to install the gearbox because i have very little space in here let me show you from there I'm recording and I have to call a friend in order to help me lift the gearbox and put it on the engine. I'm going to show you after that because uh, like I said there is no space. But when you install the gearbox don't forget to plug this connector. I'm pretty sure this is for the gear uh, to know in which gear you are. And the plug is right in here. Oops. Somewhere in here I've... I put the connector in here, somewhere in here. Yep. No, this is from the side of the gearbox, so the other one should be... And anyway, it's somewhere in here. And after that, the slave cylinder. But I'm gonna show you uh, when I'm installing this one. And when you put the gearbox, you will have two guides. One in here and the bigger one in here. Put, uh, slide the gearbox through these guides and put one bolt in here or here, the bigger ones and you can leave, uh, leave the gearbox in place, there's nothing to worry about after that. And it's finally installed, it took a while because like I said I don't have too much room in here, but it's installed, everything is put back together I hope. We have the slave cylinder in here, uh, two 13 millimeter nuts, one here, one on top, and other than that, the gearbox bolts, and now I'm going to install the particle filter in order to start the car to see if uh, everything is okay, if everything uh, drives normal and if everything is okay and we don't have any kind of shake, we are going to assemble the car and uh, take it for a drive test. I put all the gear lever linkage, everything is back. And I think it's job done. So if you want to see more progress on this car, join me on the next episode. If you like this episode, please give me a thumbs up. If you don't like the video as usual, thumbs down. Until next time, see you later.